Santana. This is Jaguar XK 2007. Beautiful car like you see. Let's take it for a ride. He's driving now because he has such a cool short, so he basically have to drive. <laughs> cool uh, so as Anna said, this is a 2007 Jaguar XK. Um, I have a Jaguar XJR, which I really love, had it for many years, but it's getting a little bit old and tired and I love the brand, but wanted to get something a little more sporty. So I looked um, at the new F-Type, and they were pretty expensive and looked at some of these XKs. I really wanted an XKR, but Anna found this for me online. Uh, it was a local car and we went and looked at it and it's just beautiful. It's not an R, but it's in perfect condition and we love the color combination. It's one of the few cars that's not black inside, which neither one of us like. Yeah, we don't like black car inside. No, the, the normally aspirated cars have about 300 horsepower out of, I think it's a 4.2 liter V8. It's basically the same engine that's in my XJR, only this is not supercharged. Uh, the supercharged ones are, I, I want to say closer to 450 or so. If you get a 2010 or later XJR, they're like over 500 horsepower. But I found this 300 horsepower perfectly adequate. Um, even after having my XJR, which is I think a little bit faster, this is a fun car. It's it's comfortable. It's beautiful. There's plenty of power. For me, it handles like a go kart. It's amazing how well this thing takes a corner. So we're very happy with it. Yeah, beautiful car. That back seat it's very tiny. It's like a <laughs> Nothing there, nobody really can see it, but it's good for jacket and uh, can put little bags and a tiny window there behind. What else it has? It has mirror. It has some horsepower. Horsepower? Ah! Oh! That's what we scare sometimes. Very smooth. It's a heavy car. It feels very heavy and uh, not bumpy car, not light car. Uh, you know, it feels heavy, but I. But this is an aluminum chassis, so I don't think it's as heavy on specs as you think. And the power to weight ratio is very good in this car. I don't know what, what they weigh. My guess is something over three thousand pounds. Look it up. But I love the the styling that kind of heralds back to the e-type it's very nice and sunny today consider that it's end of february and uh, south california is basically full of sunshine you can see everything green and pretty and many people taking their sports car for ride it's very nice beautiful day today hey, there's another one right next to me right there Wow! Where? Right behind me. It just turned. It was an, uh, an R. Ah. There are some more sporty car on the road, some Corvette. Right here in front. Big sporty car. 
mindig Maserati car. To say Italian, my favorite Italian car? Yes! Lamborghini, Maserati, Ferrari. Oh! <laughs> and what is favorite one? Uh, Lamborghini. Lamborghini? Okay. See. Related but good story we have. Car story? Car story. Oh, because I was saying Lamborghini. My favorite, of course, is the Lamborghini Miura. And I was explaining that I believe uh, Don Miura was a friend of Ruccio Lamborghini's who raised very fierce fighting bulls. So when it came to pick a name for the new two-seater coupe, they call it after his uh, his breed of fighting bulls. So I think that's pretty common knowledge for Mueller fans. Beautiful rumble with that V8 engine. I like the touch screen, a little bit smaller than, than the XG, I think. Got a little bit smarter in the later years. And there were some really nice options. This one does not have the adaptive cruise control, which is a rare option, which you could tell if there was another dial here on the steering wheel, which there is not on this car. Uh, other cars had air-cooled seats, which I thought would be really nice to have, but this one doesn't. A, a bit of a head turner I think within uh, 10 minutes of owning it as soon as we signed the title over somebody stopped and complimented the car and said what a beautiful car it was so it's, okay uh, thank you for sure nice. Chris <laughs> enjoy your ride <laughs> A lot of buttons on side. Light and door. It's funny that there's no light here. A lot of cars now have a light here for safety. Even the Lamborghini has a light there. <laughs> 